Hey everyone, here is the pacing guide for this semester in seminary. Um, I wanted to take just a second and talk about it instead of trying to write it all down. And so if you'll just uh, give me a couple minutes. Um, one, it's a pacing guide, not a pacing commandment. And so what I mean by that is um, as you're looking at this, remember it's we, we want your focus to be on the students. And so if there's a time, for example, let's say that you've got a, that you're teaching a four day class and it says right here that you can teach Samuel four through eight or you can teach Samuel nine through 11, I would hope that you're focused on the students and what is best on that day. And it might be that as you start teaching Samuel four through eight, um, they've got a question and it's in Samuel 11 or maybe it's not even in the block, but it's something else. I, I hope you feel free to um, teach the students, not teach lessons. Um, this is a, just a pacing guide to help you with that. Uh, a couple things though that are, that are important, especially if you are a team teacher, um, please, um, if you teach something that is not uh, assigned on that day, it's going to be very hard for your team teacher. And so for example, if you're teaching a four day and you're supposed to teach 2 Samuel 1 through 10, but you really feel like you need to go into 11, you're really going to hurt the class next time when the team teacher is supposed to teach 11 and the team teacher starts teaching and suddenly kids are like, we did this yesterday. And so please stick to what it says right there. Now on the flip side, if you and your team teacher wanna sit down and make adjustments to this, that's totally fine but make sure that you're doing it with your team teacher and then you stick to what you both have decided upon. Um, that, that helps, um, okay? So one other thing with this, um, I know a lot of you are probably looking at this now thinking, wait a minute, we're supposed to be in Psalms, not Samuel. The online or the Come Follow Me pacing just does not fit with the Old Testament, the second half of the Old Testament very well. And so a couple months ago, seminary sent out a, a menu, or a menu, <laughs> a memo to all of the coordinators. And they said, will you make some local adjustments to the pacing guide? So there were 12 uh, things that will be asked, 12 questions at the end of the semester that the students were going to be asked um, that were covered over the summer months. Most of your students probably got it over the summer months and they'd probably be able to answer those questions just fine. Not all of them have that support and uh, would be able to. And so they've asked us to make some local adjustments. And so what I've done is I've gone back and for the first month, we're just gonna cover some stuff that they've missed. It will be historical things that will put in context later things in the Old Testament, and it will be things that they're going to be asked on the test. And so if you could spend just that first month just covering stuff that will, will be a benefit for them, um, that would be very, very helpful for them. Um, and like I said, well, it'll also put things into context. And so later on when you are in Jeremiah and Isaiah, and there's a lot of Isaiah days and a lot of Jeremiah days. And um, if you've taken time at the beginning of the semester to look at the history of what's going on when you're in 1 Kings and 2 Kings, then it's easy to, when you're talking about Isaiah, to, to say, remember what's going on with the children of Israel at this moment? Remember who's attacking? And, and that's why Isaiah is saying what he's doing. Or remember what's happened to him? Well, Ezekiel has been part of this group that has been taken away, and that's why he's not living in Jerusalem, but why he's talking to these people. And so, anyway, it, it would make, it, it just helps kind of put into context some of these prophets at the end of the, the Old Testament. If we have a, a history, just a basic history, and that basic history is just taught in, in Kings, and so that's why we're, we're doing a, a little bit of that. Um, anyway, I think that's just about it. Just make sure that you're looking at the right day. Some of you are teaching four days a week. Some of you are teaching five days a week. If you are a Canvas teacher, yours is going to be coming out later, and I'll, I'll get that to you, but uh, this is just for those that are teaching four days a week and five days a week. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. They all are hyperlinked, and so if you just click on it, it will go to the actual lesson. And if you want to navigate there on your own, remember it's in the Gospel Library right here. 
seminary and we are using this beige white one don't use this green one that one's not going to help you very much so use this beige white one um, if you have any questions please feel free to ask all right we'll see you later